Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing the A34 Comet 1 with a crew of 5. Dimensions you can see on screen now, a length of 7.66 meters with the gun facing forward. Its role was a cruiser tank and the number built was 1,186. Its armaments include one 77mm HV gun and a two uh, Belsa MGs. And you can see right here a Rolls Royce Meteor, uh, 600 total horsepower. And performance it had a max speed of 51 kilometers per hour. Anyways, guys, this is gonna do it for this and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Scare Two here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Comet Tank or the official designation Comet 1A34. This was a British cruiser tank that first saw use near the end of the Second World War and it was designed as an improvement on the earlier Cromwell tank, mounting the new 77mm HV gun in a new low pro profile turret and uh, part cast turret. The gun was effective against late war German tanks including the Panther at medium range and occasionally at close range the Tiger. The tank was widely respected as one of the best British tanks of the war and continued service in after afterwards going up into uh, 1958 and that was when it was retired. Uh, overall, it's a very, uh, you know, cool uh, tank, that's for sure. Very uh, interesting. I always find uh, the British had some, you know, really cool little tank designs and stuff like that, especially the Cruiser series. So, uh, we have a Chromo, and now we have a uh, Comet 1. Uh, so, overall, I'm really happy with the way this tank came out. Just designed it, actually, uh, recently, so it's, uh, you know, fresh build and uh, really satisfied with the way it came out. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the build and see what we're going to be, you know, building exactly. And of course, we'll pop into the tutorial once we're done with that. Uh, so starting off with, we have the 77mm main gun right here. Um, I did not know they actually had a common 77mm gun. I always, you know, thought it was like the 76 or the 75. I never knew about the 77, so that's kind of uh, new for me and uh, quite interesting actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, then we have, uh, you know, the uh, whole like top of the turret, the whole turret. Yeah. You know all that stuff um, and uh, the top here we got the commander cupola and also a hatch here for uh, maybe you know loading bringing ammunition to the tank or um, you know having the extra hatch there for the crew it's got a radio antenna all that stuff very common um, tank design uh, then the sides here are very simple same thing on both sides here nothing different and just got the back kind of like venting hatches and stuff like that uh, what was really interesting is they had like these um, they had a couple different versions. Some of the uh, comments they had a just a flat kind of vent that went on the back here, and other ones had this kind of like little curvature structure, very similar to I believe the Cromwell, uh, where it has these vents kind of on the back here, and it kind of like curves it up and away. So not exactly sure the reasoning behind it or why some had them and when, why some didn't. Uh, however, uh, you know that's uh, what they had on a lot of pictures, so I decided to include it. But it can easily be modified by just removing the stairs and maybe placing down some uh, stone pressure plates. Um, anyways, on the back here, you got brake lights, uh, just some various details and stuff for the back here, and of course, the fenders and um, all that stuff. So, anyways, that's pretty much the, uh, you know, Comet 1. In a nutshell, it's a very nice, uh, sim simple tank, kind of looks a lot like a medium tank, and it's kind of, you know, profile and all that stuff. So, overall, really cool build and everything with that. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, move into the tutorial by starting off our first layer, Layer 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer 1. Now for layer 1 to start off with, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by placing down a nether brick half slab just like this. Coming off that nether brick half slab, we're then going to place down a nether brick top slab. After that, we're going to place down a green uh, uh, hardened stink blade block after the nether brick half slab here with a stone bun on the right side. This is going to be the right side of the tracks here we're going to be working with. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, you know, we're placing down a button over here on the right side and then it will be the opposite way for the tracks on the other side. Anyways, continuing on, we're then going to place down two dark liquid stairs back to back, a green hardened stink wave block again with a stone button on the right side, followed by two dark liquid stairs again, a green hardened stink wave block again with a stone button to the right side, and then we just want to place down another brick slab and another brick top slab, like so. After we have that all done, we then want to go ahead and take our uh, slabs here. We need to go ahead and grab ourselves some coarse slabs and also some birchwood slabs. For this, we're going to place down a birchwood top slab on the right side here, come off this narrow brick slab. Followed by a quartz top slab and then a dark oak with top slab like that for the front there. On the back, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a row of top slabs uh, where this uh, narrow brick top slab is. So we're just going to place down a row uh, across there like that of uh, dark oak with top slabs like so. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and basically copy the same design for the tracks over there on that side. So we're going to place down a narrow brick top slab here. 
never break half step, and then we're going to repeat the same pattern pretty much with the track. So I'm going to do this a little bit fast. Uh, it's the same thing on both sides here, so these should line up. The green stink with blocks and the stairs. Um, just make sure you look over at the air side and see if it's lining up, and it should. And if it does, then you guys are uh, on the right track. And then we just want to go ahead and again place down stone buns here on the left side. Uh, this time of these blocks, since this is the left side of the tank. Uh, in case you guys are still, uh, you know, haven't figured it out, uh, we are going to be having the tank facing this direction. So this is going to be the front of the tank up here, and this is going to be the rear of the tank. Anyways, continuing on, we're going to take our dark oak with top slabs, fill in the space on the bottom here to create a nice uh, floor to the tank. There probably won't be much space for interior if you guys want to try to add one, but uh, I'll leave that up to you guys to try to figure out if you guys uh, want to try to do that. Anyways, that's going to do it for layer one, and with that, let's move on to layer two. Alright guys, so going ahead and move on to our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the front here. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair on top of those two narrow brick top slabs. In between these narrow brick stairs, we're going to go and take dark oak with slabs, place down a row of three across like that. After we have that done on the two slabs here on either side next to the stairs, we're going to place down item frames with uh, just regular glass blocks in those item frames. We then want to go and take signs and we're going to place it down on the front of the stair and also the side of the stair like this for the front and kind of around like that. Once we have that done, we're then going to place down a green hardened stink weight block on both sides like so followed by a sign on uh, both sides of the block uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves dark liquid stairs we're going to place down one two and three uh, dark liquid stairs in between the green stain clay blocks with that finished we're just going to place down a row of three of green stain clay in the middle followed by a dark liquid stair upside down on both sides like that with its back to this one right here this block uh, and then we're just going to go and place down a sign here on the side of the stair like that uh, with that finished, we want to go ahead and take our green hardened stain clay. We're going to place down uh, on the inside here, one, two, three, four, and uh, five, six, and uh, six blocks back. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks back. Uh, now for the tracks themselves, what we're going to do for this is we're just going to go ahead and place down a dark equipped upside down stair like this, followed by a second upside down stair facing in, so we have something that looks like that. We then want to place down a nether brick top slab. We're then going to place down a dark equipped upside down stair like so, and another upside down stair just like that. Uh, after this stair here, we're going to place down a nurse stair that's upside down, and this one right here is going to have a sign on it, just like we did up there in the front. Um, and then over here on this side, it's practically the same thing. We're just going to go and copy the same thing over, uh, which, you know, if you need to, go back and look at the air side because it's, you know, the same exact thing, and just like that. Now, once we get that done, we're going to go to the back here. We're going to place down a row of five of green hardened stain clay all the way across, followed by, again, a sign on both sides. Once you get that done, we're going to go ahead and, and then place down a green hardened stain clay block on both sides like this with a sign coming off of it again on both sides. On the inside space here, we're just going to go take our dark oak with uh, half slabs. We're going to place down one like this on your side, followed by a dark oak with stair there in the middle. Now coming off that dark oak with stair, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves um, a placeholder block. We're going to place down a dark oak with fence gate on top of it and then have it kind of opened up so it connects up to the stair. And then we just want to go and take dark oak with stairs and on either side here come up the green stink clay blockers we're just going to place down dark oak with stairs on both sides there to represent the back fenders. Anyways, once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for layer 2. With that, let's move on to layer 3. Alright guys, so go ahead and move on to layer 3. For layer 3, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by grabbing ourselves some green uh, carpet. We're going to place down a green carpet on top of those two nether brick stairs just like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down a dark oak with slab on both sides like so, followed by a second slab back again. Uh, on both sides. In between these uh, two slabs here, we're going to start off on the right side here. We're going to place down an upside down dark oak with stair like that. We're then going to place down a gr two green stain clay blocks over to connect up to the dark oak with half slab. So we should have something that looks like that from the front. Uh, we then want to place down an end rod over here on the left side for the uh, hole mounted machine gun. After we have that in place, uh, we're going to go and take our green hardened stain clay. We're going to place down a row of three right behind it like that across, followed by a dark oak with slab again on both sides. With that finished, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, green hardened stain clay. We're going to place down one, two, and three all on the side here. And then same thing over here, one, two, and three. Uh, we will need to go ahead and grab ourselves and trip our hook and also signs. We're going to place down a sign here on either side. And then in the middle, we're going to place down a trip our hook on the side here. And same thing over here. Like that. After we have uh, that finished, we're going to go ahead and place down a row three of green hardened stain clay across like that. We're going to place down a dark oak with slab on both sides. Going ahead and continuing on, on the center, green stain clay block, we're going to place down one and two spruce wood planks back like that. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here, we're going to place down one and two green stain clay blocks, and same thing over here, one and two green stain clay blocks. After that's finished, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, like that on both sides, followed by a dark, another dark oak wood stair, this time facing the opposite direction, 
like that. Uh, with that finish, we're going to place down a row 3 of green uh, stain clay, followed by a dark liquid slab on both sides like that. On the back here, very simply, we're just going to place down a zombie head here on both sides, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall there in the center. Uh, we will need to go ahead and go into our inventory. We're going to need to grab ourselves uh, some item frames and also some red stained glass. We're also going to need signs as well. Um, so we're going to place down an item frame on those two half stabs here. We're going to go ahead and place down a red stained glass block in the item frame. And then just a sign coming off the half side like that to kind of cover it up uh, like so. Anyways, once you guys have uh, that all finished, that's going to do it for layer 3. And with that, we can move on to our next layer, layer 4. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we're going ahead and moving on to layer 4. For layer 4, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a green hardened stink bait block on this uh, block right here. Just like that. Coming off that block, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 dark oak wood top stabs, followed by a, another brick top stab like that. On either side of this uh, slab, we're going to place down a uh, wooden sign on it, just like that to give a little bit more thickness for the muzzle break. Um, when we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down an upside down dark oak wood stair on both sides of this um, of the green snake we blocked there for the mantle. We then want to place down a stone button over here on the left side and uh, over here on the right side, we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod coming off that dark oak wood stair like that. After you have uh, that done, we're going to place down a row of three of green hardened stink bay behind those blocks. We then want to grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. We want to place down a second row of three, followed by again a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. Uh, this time we're going to go and place down a green stink bay block here in the middle, uh, like that, followed by a yellow hardened stink bay block on both sides. Continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak with top subs, like that. After we have uh, that done, we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers. We're going to place down two levers facing each other on top of those spruce wood uh, slabs there, or uh, planks. And then we're just going to place down two stone buns on both sides, like that. Uh, when you get to the back here, uh, it's kind of optional for what you guys can do. I'll show you guys an alternative. Uh, one of the designs I saw was basically just fence that go across the back here like that. Um, however, I did see some designs that had uh, some dark oak wood stairs here. So, uh, it kind of had like this little curved vent thing. So, for this... It's just going to be three uh, dark oak wood stairs across the back here and uh, some ladders. And, of course, you can kind of change it if you have a couple of these in like some, in some kind of tank uh, division. You could have, you know, a couple different versions and stuff. And uh, use it as one of the features you can use to kind of change it up and add a little bit more uh, differences in between the tanks. But uh, just a cool little addition and, you know, a couple alternatives for you can, how you can do the back there. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for uh, layer uh, four. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer five. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 5. For layer 5, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a wooden trap door on top of this narrow brick uh, top slab there in the front. We then want to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 green carpets after it, followed by a dark oak wood slab. Uh, next is dark oak wood slab on both sides. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, some zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head here on both sides of that half slab. After we have that done, going back from this half slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair coming off the stair on both sides. Um, with that finished, we're going to go ahead and take a spruce wood plank on the le or right side over here. We're going to place it on a spruce wood plank, followed by two green hardened stake wood blocks to the left. Um, after that's finished, we then want to go ahead and place down a zombie head on top of the mossy cobblestone wall over here on the left side. And then on this first one right here, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves a wooden trap door. We're going to place down a wooden trap door. We're also going to grab ourselves an item frame. Um, like this, and we're also going to need to grab ourselves some glass blocks. So, for this, we're going to place down an item frame and then a glass block in it for some kind of little light there on the side of the turret. Um, and then over here on this side, we just want to place down two zombie heads on top of those two uh, those two mossy cobblestone walls. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, coming off the center green snakeway block, we're going to go ahead and go back one and two with our green snakeway blocks, followed by a stone button on the very end. And then we just want to grab mossy, mossy cobblestone walls again. We're going to place down one and two. Along this uh, row to a green hardened stain clay, and same thing over here, one and two, uh, just like that. Once you guys have uh, that all finished, that's going to basically do it for layer five. And with that, we move on to our last final layers, which are basically going to be layers uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to put the top antenna on, antenna on and uh, pretty much finish the build off. So, with that, let's move on to our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving on to our last final layers, we have layers six through nine. So, for these layers, uh, we just want to go ahead and start off by going to the top here. On the left side, on top of this uh, green hardened stain clay block, we're going to place down a spruce wood. Uh, you know, uh, half sub just like that for the com commander's cupola, basically. We then want to place down a stone button on top of this spruce wood plank, and also a stone button on top of this green stink wood block here. On this mossy cobblestone wall right to the side here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence 
uh, post on top of it, followed by one, two, and three iron bars going up like that. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for my design for the uh, Comet 1 A34 uh, cruiser tank. Very awesome build, very uh, cool one, and again, you know, we got some more British vehicles coming into the mix. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys uh, do have used this design, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. Uh, if you get, as long as you guys uh, give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. And this can be anything from sound the build, tweet to my channel, or, or this uh, video if it appears on any social media sites. Uh, just be sure I get proper credit. That's all I really ask for for doing these tutorials and all that stuff. Um, other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.